On September 21st, the U.S. Federal Reserve increased the interest rate for the fifth time in 2022. It was the third consecutive 75 basis point rate hike and the largest and most intensive since 1981. Contrarily, China has been cutting interest rates. The People's Bank of China made its third interest rate cut of the year in late August. China's currency, the renminbi or yuan, dropped about 12% against the dollar this year and fell to its lowest level against the dollar in more than 14 years. China's state media accused the United States of provoking market shocks and harvesting the wealth of other nations. What role does the exchange rate play in geopolitics and is there a currency war? Hi everyone, I'm Lei. Welcome to Lei's Real Talk. The U.S. economy is heading in a different direction than China's. Soaring energy prices, rising labor costs, and massive stimulus measures have made inflation high in the United States. Meanwhile, China's struggling property market, high unemployment rate, weak consumption, and extreme zero COVID measures have slowed down the Chinese economy. Weakened overseas demand has also exerted pressure on China's exports. Politically, the two countries face a major event that will decide the country's direction. In a few weeks, the United States will have a midterm elections, and inflation is undoubtedly one of the most important topics that will decide how voters will vote. Therefore, the Fed's rate hike is imperative in fighting against inflation. The Chinese Communist Party's 20th Party Congress is less than weeks away. The regime wants to avoid the negative impact caused by an unstable yuan to dollar exchange rate, particularly any negative psychological impact that could trigger financial instability. The offshore yuan fell below the 7.2 yuan per dollar mark on September 28th, the first time since China launched a separate offshore yuan trading system more than a decade ago. In the onshore market, which is more tightly controlled, the yuan also fell below the 7.2 yuan per dollar mark for the first time since February 2008. The day before the yuan fell below 7.2, Liu Guoqiang, deputy governor of China's central bank and chairman of China's foreign exchange market steering committee, spoke out about maintaining stability. On September 28th, China's central bank issued a statement on its website that the foreign exchange market is of great importance and maintaining stability is the first priority. As the CCP fears instability before the party's National Congress in the short term, Professor Chen Sunxin at Taiwan National Donghua University New Economic Policy Research Center believes that Fed's interest rate hike may be the best weapon the United States has against the Chinese Yuan in the long run. He first gave a background synopsis of the currency war. Uh, I think China 应该就是说，美国很清楚地理解啊，人民币要国际化，就是要挑战美元霸权。那么如果说是让中国可以成功，比如说中国在最近的话跟沙特在谈判，那么是不是说石油交易用人民币来结算？ Currently, about 80% of global oil sales are settled in U.S. dollars, and the Saudi government has traded oil in dollars since 1974 under an agreement with the Nixon administration. Talks between Saudi Arabia and China to settle oil transactions in Yuan have been going off and on for six years. Previously, the talks has been unsuccessful, but the two countries have accelerated the negotiations for Saudi Arabia to use Yuan to settle oil transactions, as Saudi Arabia's relations with Washington has deteriorated and its relationship with China is growing. 那么这个就是一个关键的转捩点啊，如果让它成的话，那么美元的这个地位就会大为降低。因此，美国完全啊有这个诱因，在这个时候，特别是中国经济不好，它中国经济不好里面，我们看得到了很多的问题啊。当然
呃动态清零导致它整个经济活动暂时停止呼吸。那么再加上它目前这个房地产基本上是在一个泡沫的阶段，那也导致地方财政的一个危机，那也导致它金融呃危机的这个目前正在酝酿之中。所以从美国的立场来讲的话，这几十年来，如果要让中国那个整个经济实力倒退的话，这个毋宁说是一个最好的时机。所以，针对这个时候有这么好的通膨的呃通货膨胀的一个借口，那么大幅度的升息，那么让资金呢大幅流出这个中国或者流出香港的话，那么确实是一个很重要打击，因为。Part of the CCP's long-term ambition has been to replace the dollar with the renminbi as the world's reserve currency. Professor Chen further explains why this is the best timing for the United States to counter-strike the Chinese yuan. Uh, renminbi 要想国际化，就必须要各国央行愿意把它当成储备货币，投资人愿意把它当成投资的标的，然后我们贸易跟结算愿意用它。那么，如果你快速的贬值的情况之下的话，那投资人就会放弃以人民币为目标。那再加上可能的战争的阴影之下，那么可以想起来，大家突然之间对于持有人民币资产啊，可以讲是说信心大幅下滑。那这个的话，等于是说中国利用全球资金这个渠道，可能就会受到比较大的限制。那对将来中国的经济来讲呢，也是一个很大的打击，因为中国这些年的成就，就是因为外资进入，外资的技术也提供。所以我想，这个时间点，美国人如果有做一个好的评估的话，应该是打击中国经济最好的时机。对 ，different from the dollar and other currencies, the yuan to dollar exchange rate is controlled by the CCP, because the yuan is not a freely traded currency. Professor Xie Tian from the University of South Carolina explains. Now, this renminbi, now we see this yuan starts to decline. Now, this yuan starts to decline. This is still a control of the central bank's control of the yuan. 那基本上，以现在的不管是离岸在岸的，它这个上跌下滑也好，都是在它这个可以控制的、它允许的那个区间内范围内，所以它实际上并不反呃代表这个人民币真正的价值，也不代表也不代表这个市场的浮动，对吧 ？Many people have a big question: What is the real exchange rate between the Chinese yuan and the U.S. dollar? Some say it's at least a dollar to ten yuan. Because a thousand dollar iPhone 14 is sold for 10,000 yuan in China. Here's what Professor Xie said recently about the real exchange rate. 就是如果人民币真正完全放开自由兑换的话，我觉得它会呃完全可以达到一比二十甚至一比三十，就是说它变得跟这个新台币差不多的样子，对吧？这个原因就在于呢，就是说呃，中共确实是印发了太多的钞票，它印发了太多太多的钞票，这些钞票呢。很多呢，实际上是作为现金，都是留在这个民间、留在贪官污吏的那些人手里边。它实际上还没有完全、没完全进入市场。如果是真正开放、开放汇率的话，那这个这人民币汇率肯定一泻千里，对吧 ？Tin Lu, chief China economist at Nomura Securities, said at the beginning of September that the Chinese leadership is particularly concerned about the bilateral exchange rate between the yuan and the dollar, as it reflects relative economic and political strength amid the strained Sino-U.S. competition, and a sharp depreciation of the yuan could affect domestic sentiment and accelerate capital flight. At the moment, even though the yuan has lost 12% of its value year to date. 7.2 yuan per dollar is not an intolerable number to Beijing. At the beginning of September, analysts expected the yuan to reach the 7.2 yuan to dollar mark by the end of the year, but it reached the mark before the end of the month in less than two weeks. The speed at which the yuan depreciates against the dollar is alarming. I think yuan will continue to depreciate against the dollar. Since the regime needs to print more money to deal with the troubled property market, local government debts, and the banking crisis, here's the video on Chinese inflation and foreign investments in China. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you soon.